You wanted her earrings. <laughs> That's because your sister's smart, Lizzie. She knows I've always got great taste. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell mom I'll be home around midnight. You're supposed to leave a phone number. I really like her. Oh, that's because she flatters you all the time. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think this is going to be a good party? I hope so. Me too. <laughs> Are you sure you're not coming down with something? Mom, Lizzie, I'm putting you in charge. If she seems like she's even a little bit run down... I'll, I'll bring her home, I promise. What would I do without you? I swear she likes you better than me. So does he. See you, Lizzie. Bye, Ben. So, three wine coolers, six pack for Dylan, and a pint of tequila. Is that it? I think so. Do you have the ID? Right here. Looks great. Have we used it here before? No, but Vanessa did. Anyway, she said they never check. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, that girl's got nerve. She's always been like that. I can remember she was the same back in preschool. Are things any better with your parents? Not really. No. Are they still fighting all the time? Yep. It sounds like my parents before they got divorced. But they are seeing a marriage counselor, so I think they want to work it out. Well, that's good. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He's not going to take it. Oh, that was close. <laughs> we really thought he was gonna bust you. Yeah, so let's get out of here. Oh, right, Jake. This is mine. <laughs> to go to the big graduation party with me at the country club. Does Jenny know about this? Yeah, I got her permission to ask. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. I know, I know. Kind of gets a little weird. So you want to go? 
Sure. Cool. Lizzie, it's not best friend you are. You mean about Ben and the graduation party? Yes. Ben said you knew he was gonna ask. That doesn't mean I approved. I mean, you know what a drag it is always having your brother hang around with you everywhere? His <laughs> stepbrother. Well, it's still a drag. Did you hear Dylan's having another party this weekend? Are his parents going out of town again? I don't know, but remember that amazingly cute guy at his last one? Yeah. The one you were dancing with? Mm -hmm. He's gonna be there. So I better buy him a new wonder bra. Oh! This award assembly has become a very special day for all of us, parents, teachers, and students alike, because it gives us an opportunity to salute outstanding achievements in academics and community service. So let us begin. In the 12th grade, outstanding achievement in science goes to Lizzie Williams. Congratulations. In the 12th grade, outstanding achievement in math goes to Janie Palmer. Congratulations, Janie. Well done. I promised Janie I wouldn't cry. What a great day, huh? I know. I love seeing them get those awards. <sighs> sure gonna miss them next year when they go to college. Oh, you sure will. And I'm gonna miss these times that the girls have brought us together. <laughs> All right, ladies, come and get them. Mm. High fat and high calories, but worth every bite. <laughs> I saw you going at the awards, Mom. I tried not to. I really did. Ask Val. No, she really did. <laughs> I'm just so proud of you, too. Hey, where's Ben? He should be here. Uh, baseball practice. Oh. Honey, would you go get us some more iced tea? Sure. Anybody need anything else? Well, I will have just a little more wine. Thank you. Wine, mademoiselle. This party's supposed to be for us, isn't it? Anyway, no one's looking. Prince to the end? Prince to the end. <sighs> That's not what I meant. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Val. It's never what you mean, right? Right, we just drop this, please. Up until a half hour ago, we were having a really nice day. Dad, I don't think Mom did mean it that way. All right, all right. Let's just forget it. The great conciliator. I just hate it when you fight. So do we. Dad. I'm sorry. Honey, it was a very special day. And your mom and I are both very proud of you. Okay? You sure? Yeah. Where are you going? Um, I have a test tomorrow. Oh, Lizzie, please stay and have some iced tea. No, Mom, really, I'm okay. I, I just, I have to study. O oh, death, the poor man's dearest friend, the kindest and the best, welcome the hour my aged limbs are laid to rest. Now it's pretty obvious what Burns was saying there, but what's the real life irony of that verse? Was he really talking about himself? Close. He may have used aged limbs as a metaphor because he was only 37 when he died of heart disease and exhaustion. Okay, gang, oh, remember, term papers are due on the 15th. Oh, one more thing. I know you're all gonna roll your eyes, 
But with graduation coming up and all the parties every week, you know, don't drink and drive. Or smoke weed or do anything else that's illegal or that will impair your judgment. Does that mean we can't watch MTV? Listen, this is serious business. Even more important than all the stuff you have to know for the final. Do we have to hear it? Oh, and hear it and hear it. Come on, you guys. She's nice. At least it's not Mr. Parker and all those oh. boring lectures. And remember, students, six out of ten high school seniors are regular users of alcohol. <laughs> and the leading cause of death between 15 and 24. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, so I'm collecting for tonight. What do you want? Um, vodka cooler. Okay, me too. And nothing for you. Oh, right, I'm the designated driver. Well, that figures. When there's a good party, then it's my turn. Sorry, Kate. Mm. <laughs> Only three place settings. Why? Where's Dad? He's not eating with us tonight. Are you guys getting divorced, Mom? Don't be stupid. He's just not eating at home, that's all. He didn't eat at home last night, either. Well, he just has to work late for his new job. No, he doesn't. How would you know? Stop it, girls. For once, can we have a dinner when no one's fighting, please? I didn't do anything. Please. Can't you see Mom's tired? Shut up. You shut up. I'm not really hungry. We're eating. We're sitting down together, and we're eating. Problem. You like vodka? I saw vodka. But Lizzie has to drive us home, remember? Because I don't have my car. Duh. Like I didn't know. Hey, we're graduates! I know. What time is it? 4.30? If we only have one drink each. Just this one. I don't know what I'm going to do with all you guys next year. What are we all going to do? Maybe we should just forget college and stay home together. I love us. <laughs> <laughs> A toast. I drink to friends forever. Friends, friends forever. forever. Friends, friends forever. forever. <laughs> Gotta keep rocking. Gotta keep rocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're dead. We're dead. Are they stressed? Yep. Someone get my breast spray. Hurry up. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, okay. Everybody just stay calm, all right? I'm going to pull over up here. Oh god, he's coming over. Please don't let me. Shut off the music. Hi, officer. Let me see your license and registration, please. Okay. Here it is. You realize how you're driving? No, what's wrong? The tail lights out. Left side. That's illegal. Better get it fixed. Oh, I will. Definitely will. Okay. Consider this a warning. You drive safely. You never know how many crazies are out there, okay? Thanks, officer. Really. Do you believe that? Oh. I really thought we were gone. Oh, I saw him coming over here and I said, here's your graduation present. Jail. Uh, me too, but you were great, Lizzie. Yeah. Uh, how did you do that? I can ask her like that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Can we talk about this tomorrow? I'm really tired. 
We need to talk now. So what's all the drama? Look, this isn't easy for us, but we want you to know that neither of you guys have done anything wrong. We love you girls. We do. Very much. But you guys know that that Mom and I haven't been getting along. Dad, if that's all you wanted to tell us, it's no big deal. I mean, no one's parents get along. Yeah. Meg, Lizzie, please. I, I know this isn't what you want. What? Daddy and I have been talking, and we think that the best thing to do for right now is to have a temporary separation. So you are getting divorced? Separated, honey, not divorced. But that's the next step. No. No, it's not. Honey, Mommy and I aren't giving up on this marriage. We want things to work out. We do, but right now we just think that, you know, the best thing for us, you know, for all of us, is, is just to, well, you know, to spend some time apart. So you're moving out, Dad? It, it'll just be temporary. But we don't want you to leave. I don't care if you argue. Really, you can argue as much as you want. Listen, this isn't what anybody wants, believe me, but if there was another we're way... We're going to continue our counseling. We're going to do anything we can. Can we go now? I'm really tired. We're going to get through this. after my dad moves out? What if they never get back together? Divorce is a bitch. I'm not saying it's not. But after all is said and done, at least you still have a dad. Yeah. After my dad died, I sometimes thought I was going to go crazy. I remember. But you get through it somehow, and then, you know, there'll be something else that comes along. I had this dream the other night. I came home from school, my parents were divorced, my house was sold. Hey, 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 listen. I'm on call 24 hours a day, okay? Broken home hotline, huh? Come on, it'll be okay. Thanks. Hey. I know how upset you are about Daddy and me. I'm not that upset. Come on, Lizzie. Let's be honest here, okay? Well, what do you expect me to do? Stand up and applaud? No. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be upset. Because I am, too. But I know you, Lizzie, and I know how you hold things in sometimes. Thanks, Mom. But really, I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. <sighs> of course I have to worry about you. I'm your mother. And if I need to talk, we will. Promise? I promise. Wash my next? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> I can sleep for about a month. Another hard day. Well, I don't know if your old dad's cut out to be a salesman. He used to be in charge my whole career, and now I gotta sell, and it's tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Come on, carry your old man in here. I need a drink. 
You want anything? No, I'm fine. Just tell me about your day. Same old, same old. Yeah? How are things with Ben? We're just good friends. You sure? Yes. We just have a really good time together, that's all. It's no big deal. <laughs> I don't know. Good time together constitutes a big deal in my book. Well, it's not like we're getting married or anything. Oh, well, that's, that's good to hear. Dad. Yeah, honey? After you move out, how much will I get to see you? A lot. You'll see me all the time. Will you still be able to come to my games? Of course I'll still be able to come to your games. What are you talking about? Honey, I'm moving out of the house, not out of the country. Look. You're my girl. And you'll always be my girl. So actually, I'm... Well, I'm pretty glad to hear that you're not getting married. <laughs> what do you want to do this weekend? Let's do something. Come on. Let's go to uh, Rainbow Falls. I like that. Well, I... Come on. Let's get some sleep. Go, go! He is so gorgeous. <laughs> okay. So, who are the members of the Quadruple Alliance? You mean the one with uh, Metternich? No, the one with Madonna. <laughs> okay, okay. The members were. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Quadruple Alliance was. Prussia, Great Britain, Austria, and um, Italy? Eh, Russia, not Italy. Well, let me see that. Okay, I get to ask the next one, ready? One second. I have a special treat. What is that? A rare vintage wine. Want some? Sure. Kate? No way. How are we supposed to study and drink wine? Oh, come on. Who cares? Besides, I'm going into medicine, not history. Maybe you care more if you didn't have the wine. Thanks, Mom. I'll have a little more. You'd be here. It's been a lousy day all around. Dad. Hey, honey. How you doing? What's going on? I thought you were coming to my game. Well, I, I know. I, I'm sorry. Sorry, honey. Our place opened up and I had to grab it right away. I had no other options. Today was the only day I could do it. Well, aren't you going to leave some stuff in case you want to move back in? No, it's not as bad as it looks. Listen, your mom and I are trying to work things out. Once I get settled, I promise I won't miss any more games, okay? It's okay. I played terrible. How come? I just did. Lizzie, I'm sorry I, I messed up your game. It's not your fault. I'm the one who played terrible. No, I should have. I should have let you know I wasn't going to be there. You want to give me a hand? Okay. Is your new place nice?
go. I gotta go. Why? Where are you going? I have to go home. I'm late already. I'll call you later, okay? Oh, coffee, coffee. I need coffee. I need my keys. So, you have to remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I can give you your keys. Kate? No, you're trashed. <laughs> If I were trying to think, I even care what time it is. Well, how do I know? I'm a little bit drunk. <laughs> Will you please tell her to give me my keys? Katie, give Lizzie her keys. If she was drunk, she'd say so. Of course I would. Here. Thank you. Are you coming with me? Yeah. All right. Why not? <laughs> Janie's all right. The doctor will explain everything. Mary. Um, what about Lindsay Williams? Uh, there, our daughters were in the accident. Is she okay? We're just trying to find out some information. I know this is really difficult for you. I don't have any information right now. She's with the team of doctors. As you know, it's starting know. to get a little ridiculous here. I mean, we just want to find out something. Anything. It won't be long. I promise. Excuse me. Oh, here's Dr. Larson now. Doctor. This is Mr. and Mrs. Williams. Hi. Hi. I think we have good news. Oh, thank God. What happened? Your daughter had a pretty severe concussion, but it appears there were no internal injuries, and she should be fine. Can we, can we see her? Very soon. We just have to do a few more tests to be sure she's okay. Thank you. Thank you. I, what about uh, Janie, her, her friend that was in the car? She's still in surgery. That's about all I can tell you for now. I guess we, uh, we uh, wait some more. Um, she's good. What are you talking about? Janie's dead. Just like that, she's dead. She's, um, she's in there. She's lying there. She's all alone, and I don't know. I can't see if there's anything should, in the world. Um, oh, how's Lizzie? Um, she has a concussion, but they think she's gonna be okay. Good. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, God. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Lizzie, honey. Hey, sweetheart. How you doing? I've got a headache. You had a concussion. But the doctor said you'd be okay in a couple of days. Mom, where am I? You were in an accident. A bad accident. But 
But you're okay, sweetheart. You're okay. A car accident? But I was with Janie. I know. Is she okay? Um, Mom, tell me. You need to rest. But I have to know how Janie is. We, we don't know. You haven't seen her? Hey, Janie's not in the hospital. You mean she's home? Well, then I have no, to come. Honey, Why no, won't you honey, let me call her? No, honey, she, she's not at home. Where is she then? Janie didn't come out of surgery. <gasps> she's dead? Yeah. No, she's not. She was in the car with me. I know, honey. She's not. I know. Do you hear me? She's Jane, not. I know, she's sweetheart. Not. I Baby, baby. But she was right with me. I know. She's my best friend. Oh. Daddy, don't let her die. In the world of nature, we have a better understanding of such things. A beautiful rose blooms for a short, wondrous time, and then it's no more. Janie Palmer was like such a rose whose soul and spirit inspires us today. And that spirit, her gentleness, now sits at the right hand of the Lord. And now Ben would like to speak. Yeah, the thing that I'll always remember most about Janie was her sense of humor. You know, no matter how bad things got, or they, uh, they seemed to be, she always found time to laugh, you know? She just liked having fun. So today, when laughing and having fun this is the last thing on our minds. Let's all remember Janie's smile. And her love for life. And let's never forget all the joy that she brought to us. Thanks, Janie. I never even got a chance to say goodbye. I know exactly what you mean. No, no, I know we fought and hassled each other a lot, but I never really told her that I loved her. She knew. You, you okay? You still getting those headaches? I'm all right. I'm not sleeping or eating much, but I'm okay. I just keep reliving that moment over and over and over. I'm sorry, I gotta get back. Maybe we can get together once things settle down. Yeah, okay. What's up? Um, Ray, uh, this is Detective Paul, my husband Ray. Hi. What can we do for you? I'm afraid I have some bad news. Your daughter's blood alcohol content was 0.12%. I don't understand. Your daughter was legally intoxicated at the time of the accident. Lizzie? That's impossible. Lizzie would never drink and drive. I'm afraid she did this time. Oh, my God. What? Are, are you here to arrest her? No, that's not why I'm here. But it looks like your daughter's in some very serious trouble. So I recommend you contact an attorney as soon as possible. No, it's not true! Lizzie? Excuse me. I can imagine what a shock this is. I have a girl about her age, too. Yeah, well, shock is not the right word, Detective. Mom, I was not drunk. I was not drunk! Lizzie, what happened that night? I wasn't drunk, I swear it! Did you drink? Everyone was drinking. My God, Lizzie, what the hell were you thinking? Janie was my best friend. I would not drive drunk. The police are saying you were drunk. You know what that means?
think it's the best way to handle this? She's my best friend. I have to look her in the eye. Tell me how this happened. Tell me it didn't happen. What are we going to do, Ray? Nancy. Oh. The police just left. Nancy, can we come in for a minute and talk? No. There's nothing to say. And please don't tell me that you're sorry. Nancy, we love Janie like a daughter. You know that. All I know is that when I go into my daughter's room, it's empty. And I will never see her again. Nancy, you can't believe that Lizzie's any... I can't believe that you had the call to come out here. My Janie is dead because your daughter was drunk. Drunk. Don't you understand that? Lizzie killed her. She killed my Janie. <gasps> Girl Scouts. Cool. Whoa! Put this where you won't forget it. Mm -hmm. Where's the paper? Kate says I'm on the front page. You don't need to see it. I should know what people are saying about me. A lot of people are going to be saying a lot of things. You don't need to hear everything, all right? Okay. I'm sorry, but. Listen, honey, why don't you stay home today? Just let things cool down a bit. I can't hide in my room forever. I'm not talking about hiding. But this is hard for all of us, and you haven't slept, you haven't eaten. Kate's picking me up in 10 minutes. <sighs> Mommy, you see my soccer socks? They're either in the laundry or they haven't been washed yet. I told you I needed them for my game today. <sighs> they're your socks, they're your responsibility. <gasps> don't get mad at me, I'm not the one that got drunk. What? Look, Lizzie, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Why don't you go check the laundry room again? Okay. You know she didn't mean that. I know. What do you think's gonna happen to me? Do you think I could go to jail? Well, Daddy has the name of a lawyer who handles these things. And whatever happens, we'll be there with you. Daddy too? Of course, Daddy too. Oh no, Meg, we gotta go! Are you sure you don't want me to drive you? Yeah. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Don't pay any attention to them, Lizzie. They don't know anything. 
I think I should have listened to my mom. I'm starting to feel really weird. Uh, my brother said they had something about it on the news this morning. God, tell me none of this is happening. You just gotta be strong. Hey, Ben, listen. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, God. Hi, Ben. I tried to call you, but your mom hung up on me. You got some nerves showing up here. Ben, Janie was my best friend. No, no, don't even make excuses. You did something incredibly stupid and my sister's dead. That's the bottom line. This is all your fault. What do you want to do? I think I want to go home, okay? The main charge against Lizzie will be vehicular homicide, and that's a Class A felony. Meaning what? Meaning it could carry a prison sentence of up to 24 years. 24 years? Come on. You're not going to put Lizzie away for that. Your father's probably right, but there are no guarantees. And prison sentence or not, having a felony on your record could prevent you from practicing medicine, law, teaching. For good? For good. You know, this is absurd. Lizzie is not a criminal. She's a good kid. I and mean, she made one terrible mistake. Exactly, and that's what we'll emphasize. She's an honor student. She's got an early acceptance into one of the best colleges. Again, this is all in her favor. And the fact that she's only 17 also allows the judge a lot more flexibility. Nancy can't want this. She knows Lizzie. The anger victims' families feel after a death like this is profound. In her head, Janie's mother knows that Lizzie is a good kid, but in her heart, Lizzie killed her daughter, and she wants some kind of justice. Yeah, well, putting Lizzie behind bars is not justice. I mean, even without the legal consequences of this, she's going to be dealing with it for a long time. Ms. Novak, what can we expect? If the judge is convinced of Lizzie's character and remorse, we hope for the best. You mean probation? Yes. And the worst? Lizzie'd have to go to prison. for being there today. She needed us. I needed you too. What I can't understand is how she could do something like this. Well, she's a kid, Val. I mean, as bright as she is, she's a kid. But mistake or not, she has to accept responsibility for what happened, and I, I think that she does. Lizzie knows what she did was wrong. I'm just so frightened for her. I know. So am I. But that's why we need to be there for her. Both of us. Think we can? I think we have to. this yeah I think this will work I'm so scared about tomorrow you don't think I could go to jail do you you just stop it well I'm not going to med school either there are plenty of other things to be than a doctor or a lawyer or a teacher might as well be dead with Janie busy You think Janie hates me? I know Janie doesn't hate you. Well, her mother does. She thinks I did it on purpose. The only good thing about any of this is at least my parents aren't fighting anymore. You think they're gonna get back together? I don't know. What is this? Oh, that's been there for months. I'm not drinking anymore. Me either. 
But ever since Janie died, it's like I can't even look at alcohol. Yeah, I know what you mean. And, Miss Williams, you are aware of the severity of the charges brought against you? Yes, Your Honor. And you understand the possible consequences to an admission of guilt to these felony charges of reckless driving and vehicular homicide? Yes. How do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. My daughter Janie was just 18 when she died. Just one month before she was to graduate with honors from Centennial High School. On the night of her death, I put Janie's hair up in a ponytail. It was something that I always did for her when she was little, and it was one of the few things she still let me do. The next time I saw my daughter, she was lying on that table in the hospital, and the only thing I recognized was her ponytail. There was nothing else left that was Janie. So I stand here today, Your Honor, not asking for revenge, but pleading for justice. Please, Your Honor, send the right message. Let everyone in this community know, parents, teachers, students, that to kill with a car is no different than to kill with a gun. After all, the result is the same. And let everyone know that what Lizzie Williams did was not simply a terrible mistake. It was murder. Thank you, Mrs. Palmer. Ms. Williams, would you like to say anything before final sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Janie Palmer was my best friend. We sat next to each other on the first day of kindergarten, and we never stopped sitting together since then. The night Janie died, we were sitting together. I, I killed her because I drank and drove. When you're my age, Your Honor, nobody believes the things adults warn you about can ever happen to you. The truth is, Janie and I drank and drove each other several times. So did our friends. Nothing ever happened. But that night it did. And Janie's dead. No matter what punishment I receive today, it will never erase the memory of how she died. <laughs> and the pain that I've caused the Palmer family and my own. I'm truly sorry. And I do accept responsibility for my actions. But, but I also believe that it is not fair to compare me to a common murderer. I loved Janie. It was a terrible mistake. I'm sorry.
Before I pronounce sentencing, I would first like to express this court's sympathy to the Palmer family, and again to thank Mrs. Palmer for coming here today and sharing her thoughts with us. Unfortunately, in a case like this, the uh, emotional needs of a victim's family are often at odds with the severity of punishment a court decides. In this instance, I do believe this was a terrible mistake, a terrible tragedy, an accident in the worst sense of the word. Elizabeth Williams did, in fact, act irresponsibly, but she also acted without premeditation or malice, and I believe her remorse is genuine, and that the consequences of her behavior will follow her for the rest of her life. Therefore, I hereby sentence you, Elizabeth Williams, to a suspended term of five years in prison, during which you will be on probation. In addition, this court orders you to attend 40 hours of alcohol education and prevention and 150 hours of community service. This court is adjourned. What does this mean? No jail, Lizzie, no jail. <laughs> we can go home now, honey. <laughs> this is not fair. Janie's dead, and all you have to do is sit in some classroom. Nancy, please. What do you want from her? I want her to be punished for what she did. Don't you think I'll punish myself every day for the rest of my life? At least you have a life, Lizzie. Janie's dead. So sorry for keeping you waiting. <laughs> but with graduation coming up, everything is so hectic around here. No, that's completely fine. Um, perhaps we should step over this way a bit. Oh, wait a minute. Thank you. The reason I asked to speak with you, Mrs. Williams, is because of graduation. Okay. There's going to be a memorial for Janie Palmer at the graduation ceremony. Nancy Palmer has requested that Lizzie not attend. What? I know this has been a trying time for all of you. But uh, out of respect for Mrs. Palmer's feelings, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if Lizzie didn't participate. I have worked very hard. I've been a very good student. I know, and I understand how you feel. No, Lizzie's right. This isn't fair. Nancy Palmer is so twisted with grief, all she wants to do is hurt Lizzie any way she can. I hear what you're saying. But I cannot afford to have a cloud hanging over this ceremony. It's simply not fair to the other students and their families. So are you asking or telling us not to attend? Right now, I'm asking. I'm sorry. She deserves to be there. Good. I have been looking forward to graduation all year. I know. You and Daddy and I will talk about this tonight. Is any of this ever going to end? Not right away. It's going to take some time for everyone. If I had been the one who died and Janie had been driving, would you hate her too? I don't know. I need a drink. What? What do you mean? I'm thirsty, Mom. What did you think I meant? Let's go to a bar and do some shots of tequila? Stop it, No, Lizzie. you stop it! All of you looking at me like I'm some sort of criminal. That is not true. I simply asked you an innocent question. It didn't sound innocent to me. I'm sorry, Ben. Okay? Okay. Are you coming? Yes. Let me catch up. I gotta stop for some water. Okay. Janie's mom really hates me. She doesn't want me at graduation. She 
thinks I did it on purpose. What happened was an accident. And everybody knows that. Janie's mother's just out for some revenge. What should I do? I want to go, but if she doesn't want me there... Lizzie, you belong at graduation. Janie would want you to be there. And if you don't go, then neither do I. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we're friends forever, right? Come on, let's go. Hey, wait for me! You're in a lot of trouble. Ah! No! Ah! That's a holding, that's holding. Whoa! Oh! That's good, uh, that's a foul. That's a foul, he's oh! No, hands, hands! He's on his knees, boy, he's going! He's gone! Slow in your old age, Dad. What? All right, all right, get ready for this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Meg, time to start your homework. There's the whistle. Come on, Meg. Oh, can we play later? No, no, I got to talk to to Lizzie and Mom. Here, I got it. Oh, thanks, honey. Yeah. Oh. So, guess we need to talk about graduation, right? I guess so. Kate says that if I'm not allowed to go to graduation, she won't go either. What? She'll boycott graduation if I can't go. Lizzie, Kate has nothing to do with this. Yes, she does. She's my friend. She said she's going to talk to other kids, too. This is not a game. Lizzie, your mom is right. Let's not make matters worse here. So what are you saying? That I should miss graduation? Maybe. Under the circumstances, honey, it's probably the best thing. <laughs> Maybe you think I should go to jail, too. Lucy, come on. We're trying to be practical here. We don't want another confrontation with Nancy at the ceremony and, and ruin everybody's day. Fine, then I won't go. Who cares about a stupid graduation anyhow? I found your math book in my room. What were you doing in there? Mom told me to go get something. What's this? Are you still drinking, Lizzie? Did you tell Mom? Did you? No. Well, are you? It's none of your business. But it's really bad for you. So is killing my best friend and having my entire life ruined. But you wouldn't know anything about that, because you don't know anything. It's not getting any better. Well, it will. Really. I hope so. <laughs> he makes me feel like some kind of serial killer. Once school is out, you won't have to deal with him anymore. I won't have to deal with any of this. Can I have a sip? Lizzie, you put vodka in this? Shh. I thought you said you weren't drinking anymore. I just need it to calm me down sometimes, that's all. Come on, you're the only friend I have left. Don't make such a big deal out of it. I gotta go, Lizzie. <laughs> Everything that you've gone through, maybe you need a break. Is that what everybody say? Give me that. Lizzie, you were drinking too much. You gotta stop. You 
don't know what you're talking about. I'm worried about you. Worry about yourself. I already have a mother. you know what I mean. Is Lizzie drinking? Is she Kate? Lizzie would kill me if she knew that I had talked to you. She is my best friend. I know. I'm really worried about her. So am I. Please. Please tell me what's going on. I think she's a lot more depressed than she lets on. And she used to drink to have fun, but now it's just a crutch. So she is drinking. Yeah, too often. Thank you, Kate. You're a good friend. I gotta go. Um, please just don't tell Lizzie that we talked. No, I promise. I won't. Look, I know things have been really tough um, for it, you. If this is going to be another one of those speeches about how you're always there for me, I know. That's not quite what I was going to say. So what is it? Lizzie, I'm worried about you. Mom, I'm fine. That's what you always say. Do you want me to say I'm miserable? I want you to be honest. With me and with yourself. You have to feel overwhelmed sometimes. I do. I'm sure there are times you just want to block all this out. So what else is new? Lizzie, are you drinking? Do I look like I'm drinking? Do I act like I'm drinking? Do I seem drunk to you? I don't mean this second. Then what do you mean? You know what I mean. Kate talked to you. This has nothing to do with Kate. Yeah, sure it does. Ever since Kate stopped drinking, she thinks everybody's an alcoholic. I went through the liquor cabinet. <laughs> if I was gonna drink, you think I would drink your stuff? No, I would get someone else to buy it for me so you wouldn't know. Is that what you do? If I had a drinking problem, don't you think you would know? I'm your daughter. I live with you. Lizzie, I have always trusted you and believed you when you said you were telling me the truth. I don't want to stop trusting you now. There's nothing to worry about. Okay?
Oh, she's drinking again, I'm sure of it. No, well, I just spoke to her last night. She seemed fine. What happened to set all this off? Oh, I think everything's happened. That's the problem. Maybe it's all this graduation stuff. I hope we did the right thing by keeping her out of it. I don't know anymore. Oh, how did everything get so screwed up so fast? Seems like everything changed when we started drifting apart. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Maybe she needed me a lot more than whoa, I did. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can't start blaming ourselves for this. Lizzie is old enough. She needs to accept responsibility for what she did and how she's going to deal with it. Well, obviously, she's dealing with it by drinking. Well, we need to do something. I mean, at the very least, she should be grounded. No more of these parties, no more cars. Oh, my God, what if she drinks and drives again? Well, then if she gets caught, she goes to jail. Well, maybe that's what she wants. Maybe she wants to be punished. We have to help her. I think I used to complain about changing diapers. I'm glad we have each other again. So am I. What happened? I had things to do. What is going on? You expect me to thank you for telling my mother I'm a drunk? Maybe you want to tell the coach to her better. You want to announce it at graduation. Your mom came to me. You didn't have to tell her. Lizzie, you have got to stop drinking. What are you going to do? You going to kill yourself? I told you it's none of your business. Yes, it is. I am your friend and I'm worried about you. Yeah, like you worried about Janie. What is that supposed to mean? If you hadn't given me my keys back that night, Janie would still be alive and nothing would have happened. So now it's all my fault. You knew how trashed we were. How could you say that to me? Easy. It's true. Excuse me. Well, I have to do my homework. You're lucky. School's over for you. Yeah, I'm really lucky. I didn't tell Mom. About what? About the bottle. Gee, thanks. Why are you still drinking, Lizzie? Who says I'm drinking? Didn't I tell you to stay out of my room? I don't want you to drink anymore. Please, why won't you just stop? Just stay out of my room! Although today is a day of great celebration, it should also be a day of reflection. And that's why, before we begin, I'd like all of you I'll to see you stand inside. and join me in a moment of silence to honor the memory of Jane Palmer, an honor student and friend to many of you, who died last month in a tragic automobile accident caused by illegal and criminally irresponsible drinking and driving. Hi. What do you want? I didn't go to graduation because your mother didn't want me there. Nobody wanted you there. I know you're going away for the summer soon, and I wanted to say goodbye. Oh, is that why you came out here? Ben? Who is it? <sighs> Missy. I know what I did was horrible. <laughs> And nothing can make it right. But I was Janie's friend. I loved her. Lizzie, today of all days, I can't deal with this, okay? I wish it had been me and not Janie. Lizzie, please don't come here again.
drunk. The police are saying you were drunk? Oh my God, Lizzie, what the hell were you thinking? The hell were you thinking? You did something incredibly stupid, and my sister's dead. My sister's dead. What Lizzie Williams did was not simply a terrible mistake. It was murder. It was murder. I went through the liquor cabinet. Did you have a life, Lizzie? James did it. Did it. Lizzie! Stop! Where were you? Nowhere. Don't tell me nowhere. Lizzie, where have you been? Jogging at South Beach. Have you been drinking? No. I'm just having a really bad day. It's all. Just leave me alone. Lizzie, I... Hi, this is Ray. Please leave a message at the beep. Ray, call me as soon as you get in. I, uh, it's about Lizzie. Lizzie, Lizzie, hey, hey, we missed you at graduation. How'd it go? It's pretty boring, actually. Can we just talk? Are you so mad at me? Can we just forget it? No. I mean, I'm the one that should be mad of what you said about that night and Janie that really hurt. Fine, it wasn't your fault. I deserve to die, not Janie. Next. Next. I didn't see Lizzie's car outside. Okay. What? She's not supposed to drive. She said she was going to the library and the bus doesn't go by there after five o'clock. I could have picked her up. This is so... I'm going to the library. If she gets caught driving that car. Remember? I don't care. You have to give me your key. I just want away from you. Lizzie, let go. and put us all out of our misery. If you ever drink and drive again, I will. Go away! Shut up! Leave me alone! What are you gonna do? I'm in my 
She's just had to have some stitches, but she's going to be fine. Um, listen, we should be home within the hour, so if anybody calls, don't tell them what happened, okay? Um, oh, listen, I gotta right. go, honey. I love you. Bye-bye. She said I could go. You realize what you've done here tonight? Dad, can we just go, please? No. What you did tonight could have ruined your life. Destroyed this family and maybe even killed somebody else. I'm sorry, okay? No, it's not okay. Your mother and I have been over backwards here to be supportive, but enough is enough. After all you've been through, how in God's name could you drink and drive, Lizzie? How? I don't know. Well, that's not good enough. It's not. What are you trying to do to yourself? Everybody hates me. I hate me. Lizzie, we don't hate you. We love you. I mean, that's why we're so upset. We're, we're trying to figure out what we can do to help. But you've got to tell us. Please. I just want Tina to come back. And all this pain to go. Well, I thought it was time to move back in. You're kidding! Nope. Plus, this way I can keep a closer eye on you. I'm better now, Dad. I really am. Sure? How's that therapy going? It's hard. Some days I want to lay down and die. But I don't. And I haven't had anything to drink. Listen, honey, I'm sorry if the problems your mom and I had caused you. No, it's not your fault I was drinking, or mom's. It's my problem, and I have to fix it. I'm glad to be home. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. You've been such a good friend. <sighs> That's new. What I said about you and Janie was so stupid. I wasn't thinking. And... I know I hurt you. I was wrong. Forget it. 
Yeah? Yeah. So how are you doing? Better. No more vodka in the water bottle. Well, that's good. You know, I think about that night in Janie all the time. You think that she'll ever forgive us? What happened wasn't your fault. I made the decision to drive that night. You're not responsible. Yes, I was. We all were. Friends forever. Hi. What are you doing here? I come here all the time. Sometimes I feel like I just need to talk to her. So do I. How you doing? I've stopped drinking. It's hard, but... I... I know this is gonna sound crazy, but, um... I've talked to Janie about you. And I don't hate you anymore. Why not? It's just not right. Thanks. That's really important to me. I really missed you. I missed you too. Meg? Hey, you all dressed up. I'm starting my community service today. At Centennial of all places. Nervous? Yeah, a little bit. Are you gonna drink anymore? Well, I'm only supposed to think about it one day at a time. But I hope not. I like you better now. I like me better too. Do you really think anyone's gonna wanna hear me talk about drinking and driving? I would. Yeah, but you're my mom. <laughs> so what's wrong with that? Well, I didn't mean it that way. I know. I'm so sorry about everything that happened. I'm sorry, too. But the one thing I never regret is you're my daughter. Ready? Come on. And just a few months ago, I was one of you. I went to school here. I sat on the same hard chairs, whispered jokes to my friends. Like most of us, I was sure I knew everything. But then one night, in one horrible minute, my life changed. I'm sorry, excuse me. Lizzie. Lizzie, please. I didn't come here to upset you. Then why are you here? I can't forgive you yet. I don't know if I ever will. But I now realize it could have been you in that seat just as easily as Janie. And it could have been Janie who was driving. She was drinking too. She should have known better. Make something of yourself. For you and for Janie. She loved you. That's what she would have wanted. Sorry. Then, one night my life changed. I drank at a party and left. 
sure that I could drive. Ten minutes later, I killed my best friend. Now you're all probably thinking, but that can't happen to me. I know. Because whenever I heard a story like mine, I said the same thing. But then it did happen. And my best friend died because I was stupid. What happened to me can happen to you, probably will happen to you, if you make the decision to drink and drive. Believe me, I know. And I will have to live with that memory every day for the rest of my life.